Can you tell him good morning? Why? Can you tell Fletch good morning? Say good morning. Can you give him a kiss? Give Fletch a kiss. <laughs> Sweet kisses. Now the same thing on that one. You can't take six from zero, so you have to borrow from your three when you make it. Good job. And so then now your zero changes to ten. Mark out your zero so that you remember that you changed it. Good job. Hey, hey, y'all. It is a beautiful day today. I'm talking, it's supposed to get up close to 80 degrees. Beautiful, sunny, warm day. So we're going to get outside here in just a little while. There's a few things that I want to get done out there, but there's some things inside that need to be done as well. I'm going to make some more pouches for Wyatt. The only ones he didn't like out of the last batch I made were the ones with a sweet potato in it. And I figured that was probably going to happen. He eats pretty much anything, but sweet potatoes just aren't his favorite. Anytime I try to give him a pouch that has sweet potato in it or bake a sweet potato and try to feed it to him, I can put brown sugar and butter on it, y'all. And he's just not real crazy about it. So he loved all the others. Just wasn't real crazy about the sweet potato. Today, I think all I'm going to do, I've got some coconut milk yogurt. I think I'm going to put that in some. And then get another jar of our applesauce out of the pantry. And put that in some and that'll be good for the next couple of days for him to have to just grab and snack on. I'm down to my last two jars of applesauce so gonna have to make some more. Take these eggshells out to the chickens here in just a little bit too. Just crushed them up. I don't always do that but I did crush these and dry them a little bit. I filled three apple and three yogurt. He's already going off <laughs> with one of the apple. And I don't think I'm going to write on these this time just because these are easy to tell what's in them. But the last time I wrote with a Sharpie on them and then when I wanted to erase it, I just went over it with a dry erase marker and it wiped off. Y'all, Chipmunk is an escape artist. She always finds a way to get her tiny little self out of the coop, don't you? Yeah. I've said it before, gardening is definitely a learned skill. And I think, you know, there's some people who naturally can care for plants or know what it takes to care for a plant. It just comes natural to them. But gardening in general, there's just always so much to learn. I'm starting my onions from sets this year. I still probably should have started them a couple of weeks ago just because it does get so hot so fast here. And I want them to use their energy create, creating nice big onions versus going to seed. But hopefully all will go well. Onions are still a little bit of a learning process for me. I grew up in the garden, but Papa never really grew onions. Not that I can remember. So this is something that I'm, I'm still having to learn about and 
this is the way we're gonna go about it this year obviously I'll keep you updated if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe cut on your notifications because we're getting into that busy time of year where you're gonna get lots of seed starting information garden tours you're gonna get to come along with me as we plant as we grow as we harvest and so make sure you're subscribed and come back come back and see if we're successful with onions this year I'm gonna put them right here beside my garlic now I planted this whole area here uh, at the short front side of our small garden area with garlic but my first year garlic did not survive the hard frost that we got we got an unusual for us hard frost and it just it didn't make it it knocked back my bigger garlic but it came back and it's doing well now so I'm going to use the rest of this space for my onions and my soil is nice and soft. Justin has already lightly tilled this area from where we had put some composted manure, chicken manure and shavings and things on it throughout the off season. And so it's already been worked a little bit. I'm gonna use a hoe and break it up. And then he is stopping to pick me up another bag of compost that I'm gonna lightly spread over the top of this. I don't know if I'll get to that today. That may happen tomorrow, but this is already pretty good soil. It does need a little help just because we are very new to gardening in this space. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my onion sets out. I'm going to space these about four inches apart. You may hear little ones. I've got boys playing in the front yard, little ones on the porch right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get these laid out. I'll show you how we place them in the ground and about how far to space them. Onions need pretty loose soil. That's why I came through and broke this up pretty good. And we're gonna set these in the ground facing this way, roots down, pointy side up because this is where your green's gonna come from. And we're gonna give them about four inches diameter so they have plenty of room to grow. I'm gonna go ahead and set them all out and then I'll come back and put them in the ground. make a little bit of a hole drop it in root side down and lightly cover it I'll leave a little bit of the top out and like I said I'm gonna come back with some compost and sprinkle over the top as well so I'm just gonna keep doing that right there for all of them I don't think I mentioned but these are yellow onions our garlic and then our onions are gonna be right here beside it this is a little overview of the garden the wind starting to pick up but I'm standing here because in a couple of months I want to be able to come back and look at this and show the difference show the difference that a couple of months can make right now it doesn't look like much but oh just wait
think I'm actually going to go in, wash my hands, and get something to put eggs in before I come back out to get eggs. Instead of, instead of just trying to carry them in my shirt like I do sometimes. I've not seen bugs and spiders and wasps in a long time. And I'm starting to see some. Right now they're very welcome guests because that means the warm weather's coming. So I'm, I'm excited to see them right now. Will it stay that way? Fletcher is right here on the porch asleep. And he's sucking his thumb. I've not I've only seen him do that a couple of times. Let me show you. He's precious. Look at that. Do I have dirt on my face? I feel like I have dirt on my face. It's okay. Potatoes are another thing that's gonna be going in the ground very soon. I haven't decided a hundred percent where we're gonna put them. I think we're gonna do one big row of potatoes over in the big garden. Is that an ant on me? I may do some over here in our small garden as well, just so that we can compare and see how they do in different spaces. And then I've also got some, I think there's seven gallon containers coming that I'm going to try to do some potatoes in containers. Again, just so we can compare and do some experiments and see what works best. I also think that'll, it'll be a good learning experience for me and also for my kids to see what works best for different kinds of vegetables. So that's the next thing that will probably be going in the ground. I say probably. It is the next thing that'll be going in the ground. My papa sent this basket. It'll be perfect for vegetables, but he told me that he thought I might could gather eggs in it, so that's what I'm going to do today. It's still a little early in the day, but do we want to make a guess on the egg count? I've gotten, in the last few days, one day we had 18, one day we had 13, yesterday we had 15. I'm going to guess 12 today. I'm going to guess a dozen. Let's, let's go see. Again, it is still pretty early in the day. The wind does not want y'all to stand up today. It's like, no. You choose. You can either film or you can have a breeze. But you can't have both. Our Morans has decided to be <laughs> to be different and she's laying her eggs on the floor of the coop yesterday she laid one right out in the middle of the run so anyway I gotta go in there and get that one I better go get them a treat or they're not gonna be happy when I come in there to get that egg like woman what you doing come bearing rewards please for the eggs. I've got to take up Easton's ball pants. He starts practice tonight and we got him some new pants. In order to get the length that he needs, I always have to take up the waist and so I'm going to go ahead and do that on his new pants. What now? Really? Where are we at? Ball game? Oh. Ball game? Oh. Say go, Sissy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show that to Audrey. She has been trying to get him to say Sissy. And he just said, go, Sissy. Y'all heard it. 
We're at Audrey's ball game. She has a softball game tonight. My mom took the boys. They have baseball practice. You are talkative today. I love it. And I'm here at Audrey's ball game with the little boys. She's already gone. Um, already gone in. And I'm about to grab the boys out. And we're going to head in and cheer on Sissy. We love you. We appreciate you. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Say bye, y'all.